Hello, welcome to Investing of Parts and Drafting. My name is Umo. I am super, super, super excited to be creating content for YouTube again. I am so grateful to God for this opportunity because I've been looking forward to it. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I draped this pretty, pretty purple dress. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this because I posted this on Instagram a couple of days ago i literally post almost every single day on instagram because that's literally where the magic happens so youtube is kind of like late to the party but better late than never so i'm going to be sh showing you how i draped this dress also i have a very important announcement at the end of this video so endeavor to watch to the end to find out about that announcement so these are the bra cups now this is a double padded bra cup remember from our corset class this is what we used now this is b6000 gum i'm just going to use the gum to gum the fabric to the um bra cup and now i put the gum and then i'm using that spatula to spread out the gum because i don't want the gum to seep through the fabric so can you see that i'm just using that to wrap around now the reason why i'm wrapping this cup is just because the gown is a see-through gown and if i don't wrap the cup the color of the cup will be showing through the lace do you understand so if you, you don't necessarily have to use a cup you can actually just drape like that but the reason why i use the cup is just because my body form is kind of like flat and i just wanted to have a bit more fullness at the bust area that's why i i'm using a cup so i'm just wrapping around this cup remember this is a double padded bra cup so it might not be easy to wrap around so you have to take your time now notice that i'm imputing a talk can you see that it's not a that it's just a talk this is because it's a double padded bra cup and it's really cupped so if there's no um, dart or talk or something the fabric wouldn't stay smoothly around it so this is what the final result looked like and i'm going to proceed to my dress form to begin my process of draping however this was that part where we're trying to throw the lace on the dress form you know that all those reels that you just throw the lace and then you know before it lands the finished dress would have appeared we did something um which i used this thing on instagram and it turned out you know quite nice but anyways this is me pinning the bra cups to it can you see that it's adding fullness you can actually see what i was saying about the bust area of my dress from being you know flat so if i draped on this directly you know it wouldn't have done justice to the style that's why i had to use a bra cup first so you can see just pin it you know at the top right and then i proceeded with my fabric so you just proceed with your fabric now you need to know that the length of this fabric should at least get to because it's, it's sort of like has this kind of basque sorry asymmetric waistline so at least your the length of your fabric should you know go past the navel maybe the client's navels the client's navel measurements you know or that kind of thing so i'm just pinning this in place and i'll just keep pinning it you know it's dripping really so just try to pull and show that it's smooth and then you know pin this is the pinnable dress form that's why it's easy to pin but you can still see that i'm struggling with the pins because these nigerian pins i don't understand they are so hard to use it's almost like everything is blunt but mm. So I'm pinning the top as well, just so that everything is smooth around. So you can see that now, you know, everything is relatively smooth around the body. So I'm going to proceed to cut this out. I also draped the back as well. Do you understand? I'll go ahead and drape the back as well, but I'm just cutting out the excess. Now in cutting out this excess, ensure that there's um, side seam allowance, like maybe half an inch. Do you understand? So this is the back. I draped the back. There's not so much story about draping the back. Just place the fabric and then, you know, cut. So you can see me cutting out the excess. Now, there should be half inch allowance on both front and back for you to, you know, sew this up. So I'm cutting this out and then I'm cutting the back as well because the length has to align. So this is my Duchess fabric. It's just regular Duchess fabric that I'm using to drape. I just really loved the... um the feel of the fabric you know and everything and it was just really flowy and perfect for the draping so i'm just picking you can see me picking and pinning picking and pinning you know picking and pinning if you see me pushing the mannequin too hard and pressing the pin too hard just know that it's the struggle with the pins so just pick and pin pick and pin you know this one remember that in the evening drip, dress and draping masterclass i taught you that one of the principles of draping is that you should drape on 
um, bias, meaning that you should drip by 45 degrees. But this one, you don't necessarily, you don't need to drip on bias for this one because of the style. Do you understand? For the lower parts, we'll drip on bias, but for this one, this is just straight. Um, the fabric is just on the straight grain, it's not on bias. So I'm just draping. If I draped on bias, you know, it would have been difficult to achieve these straight drapes. You know, it would have, you know, bias makes the fabric stretch. So it would have been pretty difficult to um, achieve these smooth straight drapes. So you can see me cutting this out. I'm just cutting around and then I'm going to just go ahead and arrange my drapes to ensure that they are all equal and nice and smooth. And once I was satisfied with it, I went ahead to just tuck the excess in. Now, all of these things will be tacked, can either be tacked, it will definitely be tacked by hand. Do you understand? Because it's drapes, now you have to tack them by hand and ensure that the tacking, the threads don't show outside. So you can see the skirt parts that I'm draping. You can see that I'm draping on 45 degrees. Can you see the way I um, held the fabric? Aside from the fact that this is an asymmetrical waistline, that fabric is on bias as well. Do you understand? Because of the design that we're doing, that's why we had to hold it on bias. By the way, remember that this class is actually a sniped form, or this tutorial is a sniped form, our evening dress and draping masterclass. That's where you would actually get, you know, everything that I've taught about draping, because I, you know, taught draping in that class as well. So I was going ahead to pick and pin as well. I wanted the drapes to be asymmetrical, as you can see. So that's what I'm just, you know, trying to achieve. So you pick and pin as well and then as for the back remember that for the back right i remember that for that back area you know for the upper part i didn't slit the back to accommodate um zip do you understand so i'm going to have to i had to um, redrape that back and then impute um slit the back so that you know when we're sewing up the dress you know it will have um zip allowance and all that so don't forget to do that for the skirt part as well you know in draping is ensure that you um leave allowance for zip do you understand so this is me just draping i just had um three drapes you know i tried to do more drapes but you know I, we just felt like it was too much i felt like um three was enough you know be seeing as we already had a lot of drapes at the top area and I was satisfied with this result. I'll show you what the final result would look like. However, we also wanted to impute this side slash. We're trying to see if, you know, it would make sense. This is also on bias. This fabric as well is also on bias. Do you understand? So I'm just trying to see, you know, how I already pinned it at the other side, at that back side. So I'm just trying to see if this makes sense. So I tried to do like loose drapes, you know, just to have it um you know just draped around the side of the body you know just like a sash but you know it just looked too it was blocking the asymmetric waistline so i didn't think it made sense anyways so we tried i kept trying to see you know which made sense but either ways why i showed this part is just to show you how you know the design can also be altered you can also create a sash you know this way if your client doesn't want um her body you know so exposed because you know that asymmetrical waistline is quite low so this is me just trying to arrange the drapes and just see you know what can be done but either ways this is this fabric is on bias that's why we are able to you know work with it like this you can't if it was um, on the straight grain it would have been you know almost impossible to achieve this but you can see the drapes forming are really nice do you understand if we found a way if we found this looked you know somewhat nice but it just looked everything just looked busy it made everything look busy so i eventually just had to take that out at this point i was just trying to see but eventually this is what it looks like when i was done pinning it and i tried to arrange it but I just wasn't satisfied with the results you know that's really what designing is all about yeah you have a concept in your head and then you try to create it to see if it will work if it doesn't work you know you can alter it you know and create something you know meaningful and really pretty out of it so this is what the final result looked like i absolutely loved 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 this dress like it was so so pretty like i was so satisfied with what it looked like and 
you know if you are creating this for a client and you know she doesn't want it see through the, the lace see through like this you know you can also line with um lycra fabric nude lycra fabric you know that matches the client's skin so this is the final result anyways and i absolutely loved this to learn more about draping you can join this evening dress and draping master class i actually taught draping in that class i also taught how to take your draping off the mannequin sorry off the dress form you know because you know you can't sew on the dress form you have to take this off the dress form but if you take it off the dress form and you scatter the drapes you'll be back to square one so i actually showed how to take this off the dress form so on to the announcement that i said i was going to make and it's about this upcoming pricing masterclass i am so 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 excited about this class because this class is going to be a serious game changer in for some people now if you're one of those designers that a client sends you pictures or a picture of a dress that she wants and because you don't know how much to charge you now send it to your fellow designer friend and say ah how much should i charge for this dress or you send it to that um whatsapp group for designers to say oh how much should i charge for this dress like this class is for you you can't be asking someone how much you should charge for a bespoke dress like that's just completely wrong because the person will be telling you based on their own um per unit in direct cost they'll be telling you based on their own profit margin which is completely different from yours what if there's what if their own overhead is lower than your own overhead cost do you understand so they'll not tell you okay charge ten thousand for this dress you you now go and charge ten thousand for the dress you now come back and say ah on that dress i don't even really make anything like really you know regarding pricing you need to know what you're doing because your price will determine how profitable your business is your price will determine how much you can even sell if your price is too high that's a problem if your price is too low that's a problem as well so you need to know what you are doing nobody should be telling you oh charge this charge that because nobody knows what your per unit overhead cost is nobody knows what your profit margin is you don't know maybe as a business maybe they they've decided to be paying themselves maybe um maybe let's say 70k every month as the owner of the business you maybe you want to pay yourself as high as 200 do you understand if they're telling you based on their own experience you now find out that you finish that job you have nothing left and this is why a lot of people are always broke because their pricing formula is completely wrong so this, in this class i'm going to be teaching you a whole lot of things the course outline of this course is on this flyer this class is going to be very very practical in fact for all the people that have already paid i've already told them that they should keep a record they should have a record they should assemble or put together the record of their income their business income their business expenditure as well as their sales or production volume because we're going to be using that to derive the um, pricing formula every single person in this class is going to be able to derive their own pricing formula so that it's not that a client sends you a picture or maybe places an order and then you now start asking somebody based on that your pricing formula you just impute the um cost of the materials that you need you know everything the direct cost involved in creating that outfit you know and you'll be able to derive the formula for each of your bespoke designs and if you do ready to wear there are a lot of people who do ready to wear that have signed up for this course already since i announced it on the 15th of february on instagram so there are a lot of people who do ready to wear that have signed up for this course you will not be one of those designers that will just be saying oh every other person on instagram is charging 15k for two piece sets you too you charge your own 15k like after this class you will know exactly what you are doing regarding your pricing and all those situations of hey i finished working i'm working so hard i don't know where my money is going to everything after this class is going to end because i'm going to teach you how to charge right charge for profitability not just you're charging like you're copying other people you know they oh this is how much they sell the tailor down the street so me to also at that price no you're charging you're you are pricing for profitability you are not just pricing as in you're copying other people no so this class is going to be very practical and now from today till the 31st of january the price of this course is going to be ten thousand. after the 31st of january this this class is going to become fifteen thousand. and after the course is over the pre-packaged course will now be sold at fifteen thousand naira so you really need to take advantage of this opportunity and ensure that you make your payments between now and the 31st of january to pay for this course please follow the seller link in the description box and once your payment is successful please send a whatsapp message containing your email address that's receipt of payment the proof of payment 
to the whatsapp number that you can see in the description box as well i look forward to seeing you in this class have an amazing week